Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Here is a quick tutorial on how to prepare your nail for acrylic application. First off, I'm going to start off by pushing back their cuticle. This is a very important step only because a lot of times there is always dry skin and cuticle on the nail bed. And this also prevents a lot of lifting. As you can see right here, I'm showing you guys close up on what I'm removing. It's a lot of dead skin that's on the natural nail plate. Sometimes you can't really see it. A lot of people don't have it. Most people do. And the way you're, you're going to find out is by pushing back the cuticle. And it's just so you can have a basic, basically a really, really nice surface, clear and free of anything. I can use the other end of the cuticle pusher as well to remove it. Then I'm using an extra fine grit sanding band at low speed to remove the natural nail shine. The reason to remove the shine is so that the acrylic can have something to adhere to. Instead of having a soft and smooth surface, because sometimes the nail bed could be oily and very moisturized, so it's, this will actually make it a little rough and dry. And like always, very carefully and gently. I'm not putting any pressure, I'm just roughening up the surface very, very lightly. I start off by the cuticle area and then I go super fast but carefully around and on top of the nail bed. And if the client's nail is super super thin, I do recommend you to buff it just not to a soft or smooth surface, just like roughen it up a little bit. That's how it's going to look afterwards. So before I do apply any tips or whatever, in case sometimes I do do the coffin shape, I do kind of narrow down her natural nail only because when it comes to applying a tip or the forms, I don't want to file that underneath it once I apply the acrylic. So it's just preparing it for that. And also you can just shape it. And I'm cleaning everything off with Swipe. This is actually a dehydrator and a cleanser as well. I'm going to be using these tips. These are some oval shaped tips and they are pretty hard, like they're not thin like the ones I normally use, so it's a little bit thicker. So it kind of takes a little longer to dry and I'm measuring them right here. Make sure it fits from sidewall to sidewall and if it doesn't, then just go ahead and file it and reduce the size with a file. I'm using the Young Nails nail glue for the gluing the tips. It, I wor it works really, really well. And guys, I am super, super excited to announce that I want to and I want to start actually going to do seminars. Comment on comments below what city you guys would like me to go to. Maybe at first I would probably start in LA because that's a more reasonable place and reachable place anyone can go to. So I'm just excited. I love teaching you guys and I just love showing what I know. So I'm looking forward to that. Don't forget to comment on that and see if you guys would like me to travel and teach in person. Then I went ahead and cut the tips and this is basically another tip on instead of using and forming the coffin shape with your scissors, you can use oval shapes and then just cut off the tip and it creates a more easier and narrow look. There's a lot of ways to create a coffin shape nail. And preparation of the nail is so important. It's really, really important because that's basically the foundation of the nail. If you don't properly do it, then it's not gonna last. Then I'm gonna also file the shine off of the tip because I just like everything to be well and even and then also blending the tip. Very, very gently as well, the same sanding band. And I did shape them. I shape them prior to only so it can be easier for me and it just makes everything better as to what I think. And I'm measuring them side by side because sometimes we don't cut them all even of course. And after all of these are all done and ready to go I just clean them again with wipes and that is ready for Bondade, which is a pH balancing agent, which balances the pH and the natural nail out of oils and 
then I'm applying protein bond which is a primer and this is applied twice just make sure this is applied before the acrylic if you're really really not gonna apply acrylic yet I would suggest you to wait but if you are then go ahead and apply it and that's how I prepare them now for acrylic application guys I hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like and subscribe thank you all so much for watching bye